Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Aina Shaira Binti Zulkarnai from Group E. I would like to talk about copper sulfide ores assignment process. The assignment process is the hydrogen process that is used to recover metals such as copper, zinc, lead, and etc. The assignment process is one of the many chloride processes being studied. One of the major attractions of the process is that it can operate it at the most break pressure. The assignment process in which the charcoal barrier concentrate is leached at 98 degrees Celsius and produces up to 25% of SO4 to minus. The assignment process contains all the silver present in the original leach solution, thus necessitating further electrical refining. And hi, okay, in this video, I will explain about the flow sheet in assignment process. Okay, uh, first stage in some cold flow sheet in assignment process, it will involve the grinding and leaching. Leaching is the process where we will dissolving the valuable metal in the ore by using the aqua solution. So, um, in leaching, it will we will use the active chemicals for the dissolution, known as the lixivian or leaching agent. Since in some process we will process the copper, so we will use the sulfuric acid as our leaching agent. Okay. Uh, after that, in grinding, grinding where will the materials occur through the mechanical forces? Where uh, in grinding it will break up the structure of the material. Where after the after we do the grinding, the state of the solid or material it will change. Uh, where the grind size and grind shape of the material will change and after we do the grinding and leaching we go to the electrode solution the leaching process we will do the electrode solution to produce the copper product so the next process is sulfur agglomeration the solid from grinding and leaching process will undergo sulfur agglomeration to produce sulfur so in this process the particle will undergo freezing and screening process and particle that has overlap size We'll go to the next process which is flotation. Flotation is a method used to separate and concentrate ores by altering their surface to a hydrophobic and hydro or hydrophilic condition. So the concentrates will be recycled back to the first process which is grinding and leaching and the others will be our tailing which will be a waste. Thank you. That's all for flow sheet for the cyanide process. Continue to the reaction equation of the cyanide process. Are you excited to know the reaction involved in cyanide process? Of course, yes. So, first of all, before we start, I want to introduce to you all about chimpopyrite. Okay, chimpopyrite is the uh, category of sulfur mineral, the chemical formula as we know as CUMES2. The color is pressy to golden yellow. The composition in chimpopyrite is copper, iron, and a little bit of sulfur. So, as we know, the Chalcopyrite is not with brushing and grinding process. After that, uh, we uh, chalcopyrite will undergo leaching process. Leaching process is a process used in the extractive method where all is treated with chemical to conquer the valuable metal leading to the soft salt while impurity remains in salt. So the ferric chloride will mix to the chalcopyrite and produce copper chloride, ferrous chloride, and also sulfur. So the copper chloride and sulfur will undergo the Next process, which is uh, copper chloride, will undergo electrode dissolution process, which means the copper uh, in solution. So, the purpose of electrode dissolution is to remove impurities before pure copper can be produced. So, the first chemical equation that involved uh, in this process is chalcopyrite will mix with the acid hydrochloric. So, we produce copper chloride, ferrous chloride, and sulfur D also uh, hydrogen ion. The second one will uh, copper product will undergo the next process which receive a uh, three electron and produce a uh, copper. Okay, so after that the next process is focused on sulfur agglomeration. So the sulfur that produce for these will undergo sulfur agglomeration. First the product uh, which is sulfur are removed from the pump loop consists of a slurry of the remover space containing of sulfur agglomerate. So the slurry is fed into a hydro pool where the sulfur agglomerate are removed as the underflow. These sulfur agglomerates are fed into a screen 
It's clean or very when they wash with water for 5 minutes. The water is drained from there for 60 minutes and then air is not there again for 5 minutes. There is a recovery leach at the per hour of sunburn. Okay, so this process is the purpose of the process is to produce sunburn particle, which is here. So we will produce our food again. Okay, after that, we will undergo the fermentation process. The fermentation process is focused to uh, extraction of our flow. When first, the uh, purpose is extraction of concentrated minerals to create conditions favorable for the attachment of particles to air rubber. Next, the powder or is mixed with a special kind of oil which makes the copper mineral particle water repellent. So, they are the different solutions that are made the water repellent. Uh, so it's then fit into a bath of water containing a formal forming agent which produces a kind of bubble bath. When jets of air are forced out of the bath, the water repellent copper mineral particles are picked up the bubbles from the bath. They float to the face making a fluff. The unwanted piece of air can bubble again, again falls to the water and is removed. So the frost is scheme of the surface and the enrich or many the copper mineral which are produced is taken away from uh, for electrolyzing, so the next process is electrolyzing. Right? The mixture of water from the engine and paraffin is recycled. After this stage, the enriched or now contains about twenty five percent copper by mass. So fermentation is allowed to 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 dissolve it by the to dissolve copper metal to dry the gang mineral that we have. After that, we create condition favorable for the attachment of particles to air. So next process and the last process is electrolyzing. Electrolyzing also focus on um, extraction of copper which uh, undergo electrolyzing. There is two electrode and one cathode. So the production of copper metal is on cathode. So here is the equation that produce copper in solid phase. That's all for the uh, reaction to reaction in the same process. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Zikri bin Muhammad So my part is I will present about the uh, unit process that involved in the assignment process Let's check it out For the question part Actually um, uh, we will uh, re reduce the size the product that we want to um, For that matter uh, there will be a uh, question 1 and question 2 Basically question 1 we, we, we will use a uh, gyratory and we will uh, make a screening to separate the size that we want to and crusher to uh, there will be a uh, tertiary crusher so uh, the product that we want is it will be uh, commit we, it will be resized to until uh, one inch so the next part is uh, agglomeration so um, the product that have been uh, resized or reduced on in terms of inside the product will be weathered by weak acid which is a uh, sulfuric acid in agglomerator or this machine also called agglomeration drum so, um, so why we need to heat it after um, the acid that has been sprinkled onto it? We want to make uh, this particular ores uh, being easy to solve in acid for the further process. For heaping and leaching process, uh, what I can say is the copper ores will be heaped and leaching process will be conducted, which is uh, weak acid will be sprinkled on the top of it and the waters will be added. As you can see at the right, at the right side, which is a diagram, shows that the flow flow of the process, which is from the agglomeration drum to the heap and leaching process, until the brightness solution on. So um, after the heaping and leaching process, copper oxide solutions can be released. Next, uh, for solvent extraction, the copper oxide uh, solutions will be channeled into a brightness solution pond, which which is uh, this particular solution will be concentrated and purified. Uh, for your information. This particular solution is added with hydroxymes, which is for copper extraction. Finally, this is the last part that we are waiting for, which is this part. The pure copper metals can be produced. So, uh, uh, this for this part is uh, pregnant solution will be changed into an electro platinum pond. The electro plate, also known as cathode plate, which is having a charge, charge ion that will attract copper ions and repel other substances like hydrogens and so on. Tada, this is our product that we want. 99%.
Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Aini Yusrina binti Zamhariru, metric number 144857. My part is conclusion for the CMAT process. The CMAT process is very ingenious in its use of electrical energy. Estimated the power consumption of the electrolysis steps is in the range of 3.3 until 4.5 kilowatt hour per kilogram in copper. The CMAT process uses a mixture of iron chloride and copper chloride, sodium chloride brine solution as the leaching medium. The copper chloride obtained is precipitated from the solution and reduced to copper metal by using a flow of hydrogen in a fluid pack reactor. The cement process has its benefit because the iron product can be sold. That's all. Thank you.